back to the Independent Investor Channel for our weekly Aduro video. Uh, as um, the Aduro story evolves, I want you guys to truly understand as we close down uh, 2023 that we will march into 2024 on an absolute tear. Uh, now, Aduro has posted their invitation to their webinar that will take place uh, later this afternoon, four uh, to five o'clock, it will be one hour. Um, three of the upper executives uh, over Vicus, uh, Mina Bache and uh, Mr. Eric Appleman will be speaking. Uh, I highly encourage you to kick over to Twitter. I found that the easiest way to register for uh, the webinar this evening. Uh, you can find Aduro at the handle Aduro Clean Tech. Uh, I would encourage anybody who's interested in this story uh, to follow Aduro on Twitter. Uh, that's the easiest uh, way uh, to keep updated uh, frequently uh, on their information and also to invite you to adurocleantech.com. Um, their information there is fantastic. Their newly revamped website does a good job of conveying uh, the story, a little bit of the history and timeline behind the Aduro story. Um, and I, I find it um, very useful information that um, the, um, the management team at Aduro does a fantastic job of continually uh, update uh, share owners uh, as to the progress that's going on at Aduro uh, Technologies. Okay, so that I want to invite you. I will be on the webinar later. Um, I will be on it uh, listening as a share owner in the company. Uh, so I would invite you to do the same. As we close down 2023 and we enter into 2024, uh, my coverage of this opportunity will continue. Um, it uh, will uh, continue on a weekly basis. Uh, I will continue to provide um, my content as well for Aduro uh, going into 2024 because I just think that the uh, prospects of this company as they have um, really progressed um, is uh, becoming more and more exciting uh, the further along we go into this project. So 2024, I expect big things. Um, there are some open-ended uh, answers to some of the questions that I currently have about some of the announcements that have been um, fairly long uh, uh, in the making here for Aduro Clean Technology. Uh, but I have just doubled my position in the stock. Uh, I will provide those share positions for you guys uh, in the description below. Um, I want you guys to understand as well, this is uh, not for paid content. This is uh, content that I release on my own accord, uh, independently of any type of uh, deal that I've made with Aduro. Uh, with that said, I do promotional content with Aduro. I think it is important to understand, and they understand this, to keep me on retainer to help um, further along the press releases and the developments as they are made uh, uh, available to the public-facing market. So um, we do have both, and for your viewing pleasure, you really just need to sit back and understand that when the news crosses my desk, I will pay that forward to you. A uh, subscription to the channel is all I ask. It is free of charge. Uh, you are uh, more than welcome to uh, get in if you do relate with the content that we're putting on through the Independent Investor Channel as we're always trying to find those uh, opportunities out there through value investing as well as uh, value investing as deep as some of these companies like Aduro that um, they're not very well known, guys. Um, uh, this story, I still, I watch the volume from day to day. The three-month volume is absolutely almost non-existent on the company, and I think that's a big mistake. Um, I think it is the sign of our times. I, I think that the volume will pick up over time. Uh, I'm surprised that the company hasn't gained more uh, tailwind uh, in 2023, but you know, the the sheer reality of it is a, a company can be doing everything right uh, and still suffer to uh, impress in a market that has been absolutely horrendous. Uh, it has been uh, very difficult to catch any type of traction 
uh, in the micro cap and small cap markets. And we will hope for better times because there are companies uh, that are doing some really, really good things uh, that don't gain favor. Uh, and I think Aduro has done a fantastic job uh, when looking at their stock performance uh, year on year and, and looking to the prospects and to the future of where uh, this fine company could go. All right. Now, I want to talk about the reasons why I ended up doubling up my position. My initial target for Aduro was at 25,000. That was my top end. Uh, 25,000 share count is kind of what my goal was. I got there relatively quickly. M the majority of those shares have turned long. I'm satisfied and happy with that. Since I've been covering the company, it has been um, uh, ever uh, increasingly obvious to me about how unique Aduro is when compared to its peers in the industry. Uh, I have shied away from um, talking down about any company out there that is going through the rigor of trying to tackle a monstrous problem that we have globally, and that is the plastic problem, the inability to recycle hard to recycle plastic. With that said, uh, it is it is difficult to look at some of the other players in the space and not quickly discern that Aduro, right, wrong, or indifferent, is taking a different path, that they are taking a different approach to this. Um, one of uh, conservative and uh, careful deliberation with regard to how they're unfolding their technology, how they're engaging uh, with potential customers to get buy-in and not necessarily just going full force uh, into building plants, into, you know, building a product um, um, that, that, that may not economically be viable, may not economically be the best choice, and quite frankly, might not uh, end up producing the best product on the back end. Um, now, useful, yes. I, I think that um, we are in the early innings of evaluating where each of these companies are going to shake out in, let's say, five years. So I think it is presumptuous, even in Aduro's perspective, to say that uh, Aduro is going to be number one in this space. And I don't think that's important. I think what is important is to look at the opportunity uh, made possible by Aduro Looking at the current and the uh, tough markets that have uh, evolved over the last three years in the microcap space, and specifically Aduro's ability to really circumnavigate uh, this market by uh, announcing independently um, they're 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 coming forward and really trying to pay forward their story in a way that did not generate hype. Um, it generated careful education, uh, pointed uh, uh, education to uh, would-be patrons to the message and, and would-be interested parties in the grander plastic recycling problem. And, and the reason I say that is because a lot of companies that came to public markets were put on the pointy end of a very aggressive ad uh, marketing campaign that drove some of these companies into stratospheric uh, valuations only to see them fall victim to a, a market that did not have an appetite for that type of height, hype. Now, it did on the onset. Uh, however, over the last couple of years, we have seen uh, many of these companies fell from grace and been subjected to the dark side of the stock market, uh, Pure Cycle, uh, Cielo Waste, uh, and many others uh, come to, to mind here. And just as of yesterday, you know, Pure Cycle taking on another um, negative 30% day um, because of the delays and and some some valving and some, um, some issues that they had at their uh, Ironton facility really just proves out that um, uh, perhaps maybe they got in over their skis. I mean, the about, the amount that some of these companies took in debt load and the amount that is having to be serviced on those debts, and just again, with regard to your cycle, not meeting some of the obligations and having to take some of the um, on-the-shelf clauses 
uh, for production marks that they will be unable to make just kind of shows that maybe being first isn't necessarily the best. And being so aggressive to try to grab what I feel like is an addressable market that is big enough for all, um, perhaps maybe you can look and appreciate the approach that Enduro is taking in this road to, they know they've got the goods. They know the total addressable market's not going anywhere, nor is the plastic problem. Perhaps maybe it's more beneficial to take a little bit of extra time in this journey and really make sure that their ducks are in a row and making sure that um, this technology is going to be well received across the industry as opposed to building it out and then seeking out those you know those revenue generating opportunities down the line i think that's being presumptuous on a lot of companies parts so one of the reasons why i looked at this and the prospects and potential you know trading any anywhere between 50 cents and a dollar us i i believe is is um irrelevant um i i think anything less than a dollar is laughable on this company um, and that is why I decided to go ahead and and double down on my position. Okay, uh, those share counts will be disclosed in the in the disclaimer below. So I would uh, encourage you to take a few moments and look at those buy points. I give you the actual uh, buy point. It raised my cost of basis by a couple of cents. Um, I'm okay with that because again, my injection point here has a lot more to do with my assessment that this is a ground floor opportunity and not necessarily trying to catch the perfect price on this company where I, I think over the last 24 months of this company, whether you got the company for, for sub 50 cents or whether or not you got it over 50 cents to a dollar, I, I th really think doesn't speak to the uh, unawareness in the open marketplace, the lack of volume uh, from a day-to-day -day and over a three-month basis um, that still proves that this company is unknown. And, and I do contend that the who's who in the industry absolutely knows who this company is, but to the grander institutional audience, this company still has a little bit of work to get to that $100 million market cap, which... The attention light will then uh, shine itself bright on a duro, but right now trading at less than 60 million USD, I, I think it really begs the question, are the right eyes looking at this company right now to make a decision to actually take a stake in the company? So the total addressable market was number one. Um, when I looked at this opportunity, I do think that the addressable market will be met um, over the coming multi uh, years and, and in even really you could start to string together some decades uh, where I think progress and marked progress will be able to be tracked toward addressing the plastic problem, but the companies that are going to benefit from it uh, are 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 um, really starting to kind of come to the forefront now. Uh, along with major oil in looking at some of the mandates that are coming down the line for some of these plastic producers to have to adhere to. Uh, and so to select the uh, respective technology that is going to work for each of their respective industries is absolutely alive and well as we speak. Okay. Number two, the technology. The technology has been third-party verified by Aduro. Um, I, I put stock in this. I put credence in it. I, I like it. I think it's great. The fact that Aduro was selected for the Game Changer program and is now um, in the latter stages, if not the final stages of the Game Changer program, I expect some more color this afternoon when we are able to sit on the webinar from the upper management. And I will be listening intently to uh, some of those remarks on progress made, uh, the potential for an end date, and more importantly to me, what could actually come out of this? All right. Now, I'm not going to take such a huge position in Aduro if I don't think or I'm not, I'm not bullish on Aduro's technology specifically. In addition, how it stacks up to the rest of the technology uh, that is brought to combating the plastic problem. With that said, um, I'm also very realistic in understanding that Aduro has some work to do here. Uh, I expect more color in foreshadowing the next 6 to 12 to 18 months. Um, how customer engagements hopefully are going to expand 
how those customer engagements are going to grow from their current portfolio of just a handful of customers, best I can tell, uh, into a, a, a multitude of different interested parties. Because I think what I would like to see more of is more uh, of the big players coming to the table, like some of these other companies that I did due diligence on that have binding agreements with each of these large companies to help further their technology. So <clears throat> Aduro's deal with Shell um, and their uh, interaction with a large major oil company yet to be named it is not necessarily so isolated to a duro. I think a lot of these large oil companies and large plastic producers are absolutely very hungry to do their current research on each of the respective technologies out there. And, and I think a duro, albeit does set itself apart by being selected uh, through the game changer program as unique and, and as incredible as that is. As a share owner, I'm stuck with asking the rhetorical question, what is going to come of it? What is it going to render? Is there really value added to the bottom line? Will Shell, Shell partner with Aduro? Um, did they like what they see through the course of the Game Changer program only to sever ties with Aduro and move in a different direction? I think it is incumbent upon each and every investor or those looking to do due diligence on where this company is currently acknowledge that, look, over the next coming three, four years as a stock owner in this company, um, everything really is talk until solidified on the top and bottom line. A, a company is not made up of rumors. It's not made up of special clubs or even in this case, um, programs uh, as high profile as this is. It has to render results. What are the nature of those results? How can that, even in the short, medium, and long term, contribute to that top line? Um, is there a long-term agreement in the cards? Is it only short-term that this is going to help with notoriety amongst the industry? Um, can this generate more interest? Is Shell going to want this proprietary for for themselves? And and maybe come with a bid to actually look to 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 bring this under the shell envelope, not to share it because they were so excited. So there's a lot that could come out of this. And again, coming from a bullish perspective, you're going to hear the angle of a bullish investor. However, I do believe that it is absolutely prudent to look at where we currently are with an objective lens and expect that things will evolve on each of these different categories as we look to build out the customer engagement portfolio, as well as to understand a lot more color around the Game Changer program. Because again, as exciting as it's been, we've had a few insights about progress following along in the program. But what really has gone on behind the curtains, uh, investors have been uh, somewhat kept at bay up uh, to this. And I expect some closure reports uh, when the time is right to do that. Uh, I'm not certain that it'll come in December. That's kind of the last um, uh, uh, report that we had is that we would have some, some more color on that. But first of next year, I'm good with that. Um, you know, as long as the news is forthcoming and we can kind of sink our teeth into the value proposition, because remember, Aduro has caught some favor in an unfavorable microcap market here in 2023. We certainly do not want to lose that momentum going into 2024 if it is perceived in any way whatsoever that the Game Changer program was somehow a bust. All right. Number three, the team. I think this upper management is spot on. Uh, they're phenomenal. They're outreach. As a share owner, I never feel in the dark. Uh, I never feel like they're not um, really being forthcoming with the progress that can be released, and they do. Um, the uh, amount of experience with this team is second to none. Um, I, I really am excited about the prospects of seeing this company in six gear. As hard as they are working right now, night and day by over Vicus's um, admission, the team is absolutely cranking and it's, it's firing away. 
I really want to see this company when it's generating some solid revenues um, and, and really looking as to what uh, Mina Bache can orchestrate with regard to capital allocation. I think right now with the anemic uh, and uh, top line that they're bringing in, and and I say anemic in the long scheme of things, guys, sixty thousand a quarter is not gonna it's not gonna move the needle. Okay, this company with the technology has the potential to generate, you know, tens if not hundreds of millions of dollars in top end revenue, but they have to do it. Okay. And I, I want to define for you guys a company right now that is not currently doing that. Um, the opportunity exists between what they are generating now and that prospect into the future and how quickly and how carefully Aduro can execute along that timeline. And it is up in the air. Uh, I give you no guarantees with regard to how quickly or how slowly they can do that. I give you no guarantees as to, you know, companies coming to the forefront and saying, yep, a Duro is our bull. Um, I, you know, outside of a couple, uh, I, I'm looking at a landscape here where if there is such a huge need on the addressable market, then where are these additional customers, you know, putting their hand in the air and saying, yeah, sign me up. I, I'd like to engage in this program as well. Uh, now, that might just be that those engagements are not ready for release, and, and that's totally fine too. But until they are released, quite frankly, as a share owner in the company, I'd rather presume that they do not exist as opposed to presume that they do exist. Okay? I'll be uh, pleasantly surprised when they do actually get released. All right? The, the final aspect of my decision to increase my position going into uh, and closing out this year was the timing. I've been doing financial markets most of my life, and the old onus is don't try to time the market. This type of timing is something that I will suggest is something completely different. When we're talking about Aduro, how they have come to public markets, how they have evolved over the last 11 years of evolving this technology, um, the amount of financial commitment that has gone into evolving this technology over the last 11 years, the rhetorical question that I would pose to any viewer to the message to ask yourself if you even knew that Enduro Clean Technologies even existed uh, 12 months ago. The pleasure I take in putting this information forward is incredible, and it is uh, multifaceted in that I'm speaking to the very audience that I think for once is provided an opportunity to get into this company prior to the big institutions. You can look at it however you will. I'm sticking it to the man, whatever else. But if the Duro had just remained private, like a lot of other of uh, the plastic recycling companies are doing with private financing, my friends, you would not have the opportunity to touch this company. The very fact of the matter that you have a chance to buy this company at the irrelevant stock price, it's irrelevant. Anything between 50 cents and $2.50, which is half of where I consider to be the fair market value on this company, is irrelevant. Anything under dollar is an absolute bargain. It, it can bargain exponentially having the potential over time, if a Duro executes, to really move off of what I consider to be not a fair assessment to the current value that is presented by a Duro Clean Technologies. I would expect, again, some color around that perspective on the webinar this afternoon. But to look at this as a as anything other than a ground floor opportunity is irresponsible. Whether or not a duro is able to materialize over the next couple of years, slowly, quickly, when you look at all the pedigree that they've got going on now, I don't care how fast or slow they're able to evolve over time as long as they're progressing toward an end. And progressing toward an end for me is solidifying each and every new customer relationship going forward, establishing um, agreements, 
entering into contracts, whether they be short, medium, or long-term contracts in the short term to build out those initial contracts. Guys, the initial contracts that Aduro um, will enter into with each of these uh, first, um, uh, first interested parties is going to set the stage for reoccurring build out of their technology going forward. It will also continue to really certify, which I think is necessary um, to, to further validate with each new customer comes further validation of their technology. Look, I give proper credence to the third party validation. I give proper credence to the game changer program. I want more. That's just my perspective. That's my opinion. Um, some others, even bulls of the company may disagree and say, Ryan, the third party validation is good enough. I disagree. Um, it, um, uh, absolutely is the full circle validation when you sign on somebody in a customer agreement and they're willing to put pen to paper to your technology to engage in at least a short-term deal um, where there can be expected revenues uh, generated from that deal that is going to be the key validator for me and aduro and quite quite frankly up to december of 2023 we have yet to have that type of color in any type of meaningful scale with Aduro. And so these new uh, customer uh, engagements, uh, however well they're working, if it's going to bring in onesie twosies, that's not going to work for me. The ability of Aduro really to uh, expand their reach, uh, uh, presuming I think that they're kind of stuck a little bit with having to get some closure uh, if not identify where they go after the closure of Game Changer, right? Because I think they're trying to really honor their opportunity with the Game Changer program, leverage those opportunities within the Game Changer program, uh, that of which Aduro mutually benefits from, right, in advancing their technology, but really to expand their reach, okay? there are, There are literally hundreds and hundreds of multi-billion dollar companies out there uh, that uh, globally and here in North America could benefit from Aduro's technology. And I just think the, the, the opportunity cost of entering into a position like Aduro now with the current dynamic that we have in the, grant, the, the, the broader stock market where we've got you know, a magnificent, magnificent seven, a suite of companies that are trading for extremely rich valuations. You look at a company like Aduro here and the opportunity to get in on the ground floor of a company that is absolutely unknown, but that certainly has the, the all the pedigree to enter into the billion dollar uh, market cap with no problem just by nature of a re-rate of their technology. They need to do a little bit more in emboldening that potential top and bottom line, uh, cost of operations to make sure that they can really survive without having to self-fund uh, is going to be key for Aduro over the coming years. And I, I think Mina Bache, I, I'm excited to see what this guy can do because every time I hear him speak, I get to hear him speak this afternoon. I'm, I'm reassured as a share owner to know that we've got the best guy at the helm. And he is absolutely the best guy to be uh, marshalling this ship toward the horizon as we evolve and where to deploy capital, how to allocate new capital, how to expand the business appropriately and smartly uh, in an addressable market right now, guys, that is an absolute blue ocean. Um, this is something that just the discussions are starting to grumble now about uh, ESG, plastic recycling, these themes are really going to take hold in what has been over the last three years been a very discredited and discounted and discarded market up till now. And I think the landscape is slowly changing, and I expect that to change going forward. Guys, if you appreciate the message coming through the Independent Investor Channel, I again would ask you to subscribe to the channel. This will be a weekly event here putting out a Duro Clean Technologies news uh, on my own behalf. It's a cool way of continuing to stay fresh and relevant with the content. Hit the thumbs up button, the notification bell, leave your comments at the bottom of the video. And thank you so much for tuning in for the totality of the video. And I'll see you guys later this afternoon on the webinar. Good luck.
in your investment future. 